and welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day. It is Thursday the 8th of June, we're in the middle of the Asian session and Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets to lead you around what's happening in markets now. Let's have a look at the news. Of course there was a mixed session on Wall Street overnight with the Dow closing up while the Nasdaq giveaway in excess of a percent on the absence of major news and an apparent pause in the big tech rally we've seen lately. Prior to the next week's big data with the CPI coming out on Tuesday and the Fed's rate decision on Wednesday. US futures are near neutral to start the Asian session, haven't really moved much since open and Asian markets are generally lower following that US lead. ASX is trading at neutral at this stage and European futures are pointing to a cautious open. The VIX however doesn't seem particularly perturbed and continues to trade around three year lows. US dollar index is quite neutral and close to those recent highs we've been referencing really for the last couple of weeks and gold dropped again to retest the poor of the short term range it's been in around about that 1950 is really critical in terms of a level it's slightly positive in Asia so far uh, but copper has paused at a key level after its recent up move and oil is still range bound though slightly higher yesterday Bitcoin dropped again overnight, it's been very choppy this week, but it's holding in Asia today. Uh, in terms of the data, we've had Japanese GDP out already, which is mixed. Australian trade balance was a slight miss on that, was, which was expected. Later on, we have some reasonably big data with the Eurozone GDP and jobs data due this afternoon and weekly jobs out of the US tonight. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye today. FX markets are fairly flat, but the Canadian Swissy has caught our eye. And you can see on a 30 minute chart, we did have a move higher yesterday after their rate decision. You can see there again, although we gapped down this morning, we're back up near yesterday's highs. Uh, this 68 cent level looks interesting. If we just put it on the daily chart, you can see the significance of where we are now. There is a key level at 67.80 which we appear to have breached so that 68 level looks very important if we get a move up from there we could see a 50 or 60 pip move perhaps to test this sort of 68 60 level and so that really is probably about the clearest chart in today's trading so far on the ASX we are seeing the coal stocks looking strong again you can see Whitehaven coal here has moved up to and slightly beyond a key level around about 638 on the daily chart we are trading towards the high of the session so there looks as though there's some buying pressure potentially coming into this and a possible move up to retest that 200 ema over the next few days and possibly weeks looks as though it's not beyond the realms of possibility for short-term traders perhaps a move up around about five percent to 680 uh, looks probable at this stage looking at the technical picture both short-term moving averages are now pointing to the upside uh, suggesting that this is a move that could be higher probability trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now